welcome to the session greeting of the day in the last classes we have discussed about types of joints and types of welds such as butt weld fillet weld and t joint butt joint such things we have seen in the previous classes in continuous with that some other points in the welding terminologies are there what about the heat affected zones weld zones root gap root face such things we have to see in today's session so the types of welding it may be highly essential to describe the exact joint design you should know what happens we we are planning to weld a two pieces and we have doing the welding process here we are doing the welding process here so there are few names are there that we should know such as this is called as a root gap the root face that one by one we will see once it is possible to identify the types of joint what is that cutting then it can be able to identify the individual features that make up the joint geometry for the particular configurations you should know what type of joint we are going to do in the industry whether we are going to connect the two butt pieces or there is we are going to connect the t pieces or there is we are going to connect the corner pieces in accordance with that the welding process also changes based upon this difficulties for the welding locations the elements of the weld joints are highly necessary variable in welding processes this is what now the names we have to C. Welding expert may require to apply the knowledge once in the industry for manufacturing of the welded product. Here, it is not as like that the chamfering of the two gaps it is not as like that, but it is based upon the design. So, in case if we are using the electrode of 3.2 mm electrode, the groove angle to be differ from when we are using a lesser than the tough 3.2 mm like 2 mm electrode if we are using for welding purpose it should be not not that much groove angles are not required okay. so those configurations we need to know based upon our skills only the parts of weld i am defining here such as the root joint groove face root face root edge is both are confusing root opening bevel angle groove angle groove radius so these things we are going to see you know, what are the parts where we can able to identify it. so what we are going to do two pieces we have taken two pieces we have taken and then i am this is piece number 1 number 2 and i am going to define this locations root gap root face bevel angle how much we have to take this actually what is the distance here is the material here is the material the electrode should go down to the zero mm and it should weld therefore i am doing the chamfering or groove angle process in such a way the electrode can come freely up to the point and it can it can able to weld in this locations i am welding here i can able to weld in these locations so such cases are we need to know that is what i have represented here as joint root group face root face root edges root opening so such things we will see one by one so now the root joint root what it is it is that portion of the joint to be welded where the members are closest to the each other the joint root may be either on the area or in the line so what you see so this is the area here the surface which is in the gray scale is a joint root where i want to do a weld it means the electrode which is melted should not go down if you are making the joint in such a way i am making the joint in such a way so what happens i am making the joint in such a way what happens now i am making i am making the filler rod and it is melted and it is comes down and it is comes down here there is a large largest gap is there 
it should comes down. If it comes down, it goes down. Therefore, what I am doing, we should hold, we should hold tightly. The molten metal droplet should not go down. Therefore, instead of such designs, what I can able to do, I am changing little bit square in this region, little bit square in this region. I am reducing this region of 3 mm to 1 mm. Then what happens? The droplet which is coming in the large format, it is half. Molten metal will be obstacled here. Will be obstacled here. So what I have done? I have kept here. I have kept here. And I have done. This is a joint root. So now when this electrodes are coming, the droplets it stops here. It stops here. Then I can able to weld it. Even though after stopping, the flow of molten metal will be there until it getting solidified. Therefore, it a little bit it comes down and it gives the, the name called full penetration up to the zero power. If it is stopping here at this location, this uh, root gap, this giant root will not be welded. If you are keeping very large, the molten metal goes down. If you are keeping too near by, it will not give the full penetration up to the zero term. Therefore, the optimized level should be kept in such a way. The fluidity of molten metal flows down and it makes the full penetration joint. So, in such cases I have given this, this point you can see. This point, this point you can see. Okay, up to this. Here, where, where it is, here, this is about a single V, less thickness material. This is about a double V. Where we have double V? See? Here I have one V. Here I have one more V. Inverted. So I have to weld first to avoid distortions. I can able to weld here. Rotating the plate. And I have to do the other side weld. So the distortion will be maintained. It should be cooled down in between this two ultra repeating process. So that is what in the various images they have In the butt at the center it is there. At the lab joint, it is here and see in this location, see this location at the center. This is a joint root, but above that, above that we have, above that we have the groove. Above that we have the groove. Okay, please understand carefully. Okay. So that is what about the joint root. Part something where the groove faces, now one by one we are going to see the groove faces, root faces, root edge. This three we are going to see. It is on the surface, it is on the surface of the member included in the groove. Where is the groove face here? You see, this is groove face I have marked here. This one. Where I have the marking goes up to this location, which where, which where we have done the chamfering effort. That is called as groove face, groove angle, groove face. It means, we have taken a V groove and the surface which is chamfered out, the metal is went out. The part where we are going to do welding process. Here we are going to do welding. Here we are going to do welding and we are going to fill the material. So that phase is called as a groove phase. We please remember we have talked about the joint, root and the groove phase. Root phase, it is that portion in the groove phase within the joint root. We have seen Try a diagram here. We have seen like this in the front view, we have drawn this location. This I told you joint root, and this I am representing this faces I am representing as a groove face. Okay, the same groove face in case if it is crossing in this region, this this region, this region, I am calling it as a root face. Joint root, groove face. On the joint oneself, that is root, that is root, but uh, the face is there, that is called as the root face. It is a root face of the zeroth width, root edge, this point, this point I am calling is a, the zeroth point, that is what, the last point I am calling it as a, it is a root face of the zeroth width, the last point we are calling it as a root edge. The terms we should know, what are joint root, groove face, root edge, 
So we should some points we should understand. Then the main point became the bevel. How much bevel? The 30 degree bevel. Out of it, here already we have the specimen like this. Already we have the specimen like this. So now the workpiece of electrode should come from there and it should go down to the zero to point and it should bend here. But in case if it is the electrode is somehow it is a large thickness, it will not go inside, you will not go inside. Therefore, from the original location, we are making the groove and then we are comfortably moving here and there to the zero to point and we should weld. I think we understand now. Okay. And we are welding. Now the bevel is nothing but a, this point. What we are doing? So from here, I am cutting this. This angle, this angle, we call this bevel. Occurring this side, one more bevel is there. One more bevel. Okay. So this is we are taking bevel. This is bevel angle. Bevel angle. It is the angle between the bevel of the joint member and the plane. So here the plane and the joint member. What is this angle? That is called as the bevel angle. Bevel we are taking and angle is named as bevel angle. It is the total included angle of the groove between the two members. Now, in the same, in the same what I am doing, this is separately we have taken that is called as bevel. But in total together we should take. This we called as a, this we call as a groove angle. This is called as a groove angle totally. So in case, in case, in case if it is a 30 degree, it will be 30 degree, then the total angle will be the total angle will become the bevel angle will become 60 degree. Okay? So such cases. Eh? The terminologies we are understanding before going to the building fundamentals. These are the fundamentals you should know. What are the terminologies we are using? Okay, that is how. Bevel, bevel angle, groove angle. So bevel, bevel angle, total groove angle. So that is what they have also given here. See, single, single this is called a single V. So angle of bevel and such so. So here the root face, the last page we have seen, this one, the root face. Next one, the root opening and the groove radius we should see. It is all applicable in the, not in the V groove, it is in the J groove, okay. So it is J, double J groove, okay. It is the separation between the workpiece at the joint root, root opening. So here this opening they are talking how much the gap 1 mm, 2 mm or 3 mm, how much we should give that opening they are talking. It is the separation between the workpiece at the joint root, how much the gap, groove radius, it is an arc radius, it is an arc radius of the weld joint which applies on the J and U. We should give a radius here, this point, this point we should give. In earlier case, what we have did, we have cut it like this, we have cut it like this, we have cut it like this, we have made a V, we have made a V, but here we, have, we are making a J to fill more motor material. Okay, it is somehow it is difficult than as compared to the V. You should, I told you in the last class that V is preferable edge preparation method rather than the other J and U. Okay, in case if you want to prefer J, we have to give the radius for J and U. Preferred only our radius for the J and U groove wells. It is the radius used to form the shape of the J or U groove wells. The radius is utilized to form this J and U grooves. So here we have studied about the root opening, the gap, how much 1 or 2 mm, and then the groove radius. Okay, so root opening and the groove radius. So this is, they have, they have mentioned the root phase, how much, 1 or 2 mm. You see, next one, root gap, which is the groove angle. What is the root gap I told you? 
here the root gap this gap is called as root gap right this height is called as a root face root gap root face to stop the molten metal it should not flow down we are melting here the electrode and it should come down to fill not to move at the other, other end okay we should close therefore that region is perfect for the electrode coming we are opening the root gap is used to the they have given electrode accessibility to the root of the joint it means a zero thumb the zero thumb smaller the groove angle larger the root gap is required to achieve a good penetration if the groove angle is very small we should have the large root gap in such a way only the electrodes will go up to the bottom then you can able to weld if it is groove angle is very small then you should give more here it means if in case of instead of 30 if you are giving 25 what happens it will not go inside therefore we should give more root gap larger here we are extending a it is a case it is a case i am doing edge preparation not by 30 degree i am doing only by 15 degrees then the electrode will not go to the reach of the bottom then what time what i am doing I am little bit. I am extending the root gap from one mm to two mm. Then obviously the gap increases. Then exactly the electrodes can go down. So such a knowledge skills you should apply here. Next, the type of joint preparations. See, I have taken a compare between the V and the U. So what is single V? Here the edge preparation is done on the one piece, and the edge preparation done on the second piece. Similarly, edge preparation done the one piece and second piece. But I have done a bevel, single bevel, or the one piece, and one more single bevel in the other piece. All together, it forms a V. It forms the V. That is why we call it as a single V butt joint. We are going to wear the like this butt butt configurations. So here also we are going to do the butt configurations, but uh, I have done a single J. That's it. I have done a single J. When it is combined together, we are forming a single U. We are forming a single U weld joints. Now we shall have to compare the root gap, permissible root gap, permissible root face. We have to start welding. We have to do the welding here. So that's it. So we can fill. The electrode can come down up to the last M, up to zero M. Then we can fill. Then we can able to fill the gap easily, and we can able to weld quickly. Okay. So such things we can able to do from this setups. We should know how to prepare. Even this all things preferred for large thickness. If it is a small thickness, maybe autogenous we can weld without doing the edge preparations. If it is a thin Material you can do for single-sided edge preparation. This is not needed. One side electrode can come down and can weld. If, if in case in thickness double side you should do. Instead of this, what we can do here? What we can do? I can able to do like this. Like this I can do. See, I have taken this region. I have taken the welding in this region. And again, this region I can weld. When I'm doing here, this water bottle comes here, and I'm setting back again. And I'm, I'm when I'm welding here, this gap will be filled. Unnecessary, we should be no need to remove all the materials by using skills where the fluid flow happens that we are applying and keeping the root gap under root face preparation. We should do there. So when the thickness increases, the groove. Numbers increases. Okay, so that is how. So again, here I have taken for the thin section. See, single bevel I have taken. Single bevel thickness reduction. As usual, as usual, the root gap. As usual, the root face, root face, and then along with that, a single sided angle of bevel. Single sided I have taken, not two. The requirement is. Uh, Shape become thin, okay. 
I have taken single bevel. Okay, so you see here, similarly, a single bevel, but it is a J, J single bevel. One side only I have taken here. Root the gap, root the face, but here they are called this is a root land. This is a root gap, that is okay. This is a root gap. Okay, then I am talking about this region, you see. This region. I am talking about the, this region. This region. So this gap. Land they are calling it. The J, how much length it should come? I can put a J here. I can put a J here. I can put a J here. How much the landing? The landing length, how much? With the with this height is height that we are not doing. But how much the landing? How much we should go inside? How much we should machine inside? So that landing is called as land. So here the angle of bevel. Similarly, one side we have taken, not two side. If it is taken you to two side, it will become U. It will, it will become U. Okay, I have taken only one side as per the requirement of the thing we take. Okay, this is how such things also we can able to make. So for a single bevel groove weld, the bevel angle and the groove angles are equal. Smoothly they have told. For a single bevel, single bevel. Groove angle, what is groove angle now? This is groove angle. This is groove angle. And the bevel angle or groove angle of the equal. Here groove angle is same. This is groove angle. And for the single, the same, the same thing again. Bevel. Bevel and the groove are same for single. But in case of double, it is 30 plus 30, it will become 60. This is 30. Okay. In case of J or U groove weld, the weld configuration is normally specified by the both an angle and the radius. What we understand? Now, what are the various configurations are available? Now only we have clarified. A single sided preparations are normally made up of a thinner material or in occurs as access from the both sides are, are restricted. So I can able to do single for a thin, I am talking about the thin now. Single bevel, single V. Please make in contact. Okay. It is a single V, single bevel. Okay. Single U, single U, single J. When it is double J is that, then become it is U. Single V, single V. One side is taken as bevel, one more side is taken, then it become V. One side is taken J, if it is double side is taken, it become U. Similarly, here also thickness increase now. This is for the thicker material. For the thicker material. See? Double J, here on J, here on J. Similarly, double U, double U, double bevel. It is not double V. Um, this is not double V. Here one bevel, here one bevel. Now, I am taking the both sides, double bevel, so double V, so double V. See, single sided preparations are normally made for thinner materials, thin, thicknesses are less, height is less, thickness is less, less than 16 mm we can tell, less than 16 mm we consider as a thinner material. Or when access of the both sides are restricted. If both are not possible, also we should do there. If one side in the industry, the wall I will be like this, only one side possible. Inner side we cannot be able to go. Such cases we should do only in the one side groove taking. A single way bed joint is also more similar and preferred. Double side preparations are normally made up of for the thicker materials. Thinner, thicker. When access from the both sides is unrestricted, when both sides is unrestricted, so I have a plate here and I can't able to go inside this region. I want to do the welding process from the top only. At the time, I am doing the weld, I am doing the weld only in this location. Okay. So now the accessibility is there. How now this accessibility is there? Now what I can do? I can able to go for welding in the two sides. If this accessibility is okay. Accessibility is what I can able to do for two side welding process. Two sides is preferred because uh, the heat distributions will be less. 
instead of going single me, always preferred is double me. But based upon thickness, less than 16 mm, we can go for single me. Right. A double me bed joint will cut down the amount of welding by almost one half of the comparison to the single V bed joint. Double V bed joint will cut down the amount of welding by almost one half in the comparison to the single V's. A double V bed joint reduces the amount of distortion. See, that, that the point that I, what I told you, double V, the double V reduces the distortions. It should not bend. It should not bend. Therefore, we should always prefer making the double V preparations. It is recommended too, but when, when compared to 16 mm greater than this is recommended. Less than 16 mm, usually the distortions are less, therefore we can go for single V itself. The double V but may require the joint to be turned over to complete the other side and access. What they are telling you, we should turn over. First we should wait here. And then I am repeating, changing the plate to the other end, and I am welding here. So, such things can be made for the welding joints. So, advantages on thicker sections, you and J are preferred. J and you are preferring for more than uniform and even distributions of the welding materials are possible. So zones are there, we should see in continuous with the next one, the various zones after welding what happens. We name it as the heat affected zone. So these are there, we should uh, talk elaboratedly that we will do in the next class onwards. Summary. So in the welding, we have seen about uh, the joint configurations joint design such as V, J, U, bevel on that single double J also we have done. In the J also single double we have did. These all things based upon thickness. The remaining part of the subjects will see you in the next session. Thank you.